we've received several requests for us to do reviews of military RV parks. So we thought, why not? Yep, so today we're gonna um, preview the Midway RV Park in Millington, Tennessee. Midway RV Park yep. is located in Millington, Tennessee on the Navy base. The world's greatest Navy, that is. That's right. Um, it is about 30 minutes north of Memphis. So most of the activities that people come to this area for are downtown in Memphis, and there is a ton to do. But before we get to that, let's talk about the um, park a little bit more. It is open year round. They do not shut up water when it's freezing cold there, <laughs> and it does get cold there. As far as booking, active duty can book as far as a year out, and retirees can book up to six months out. Right. So there are 48 sites um, in the Midway RV Park, and they're kind of a first come, first serve basis. You make your reservation, but they don't give you an assigned space. When you get there, uh, you just find the first first available or the one that you like the, the best that's open and pull in. Um, when you first turn into the RV park, there's going to be a mailbox on your left-hand side. Um, and in it is going to be, I guess, RV-specific instructions, who the camp post is, base map, stuff like that. Um, and if there's any special um, instructions for the park itself, such as, you know, certain sites are, are not available, they'll have that listed as well. Um, and there are always sites not available at this RV park. Right. We've been there four or five times and there's always quite a few tagged out. So yeah. just kind of be aware of it. If you're driving through, they will have it um, marked out. So you can tell right. just by driving by if the site's not working. Right. Um, another thing, when you get to your site, all of the sites is kind of like a, a slope that goes into your site. Um, so you might want to you know, get out, walk your site first, check the angle of that slope, and then you may want to come in at an angle um, so that you're not dragging any of your underside your, yes. of your RV going into the site. And we've been there four times, like Stacy said, and knock on wood, we haven't drug anything yet. Yeah. So once you get to your site and you're all set up and you're ready to relax, you have to call the MWR office and tell them what site you're in. You're, and that's then when they will bill you. I mean, you should get an electronic receipt in your in your inbox shortly after that. Yep. The sites are are anywhere from 21 to 23.50 a day, um, or up to 490 to 530 a month, depending on your rank. Let's talk about how you're going to get on the base. There are actually two gates um, now at Millington where you can enter with your RV. Um, one is open 24/7, and that's the main gate, and it's actually on Main Street. Yep. So if you need to punch it into your GPS to make sure it gets you there, because usually it takes you to the other gate, which is only open uh, Monday through Friday, um, 06 to 1800, and that one also is closed on the holidays. So if you want to go to the main gate, the easiest way to find it is to punch in Navy Federal on Main Street because that is right across the street from the main gate. Um, so that's a great way just to throw it in your GPS system. Yep. Now the south gate, which is also their commercial gate, like I said earlier, is only open part of the time. So you'll need to be aware of, of that when you're coming with your RV. You don't want to get stuck and, and have to do a U-turn. That one is located on Singleton Road, and from 385, you're going to exit Tennessee 204 South toward NSA, and it will have directions on the freeway. It'll direct you which exits you need to take, so that that also is helpful. Yeah, but be mindful when you get to the gates, either gate, um, you're going to have to drive through slowly as there are serpentine. It's a serpentine setup. Yeah. Um, we are 35 feet plus probably another 10, 12 feet with the dolly and the car behind us, and we get through no problems and and we've seen fifth wheels and other class a's get through the gates with no problems at yeah. all but just be mindful of that and we've exited or entered both gates and and haven't had a problem right all right let's talk about some of the campground amenities here at the actual rv park there is showers bathroom facilities there's a tv room and a lounge it's not huge but right. it is available to you if you'd like to use it also there is two washers and two dryers which are free you don't need to have quarters laying around to use them first base that we've been on an rv park on the base that the laundry was free yeah so it's the only one so far we found it is pet friendly with tons of um, puppy cleanup stations and it has um, a huge huge dog park so fenced in one for small dogs one's for large dogs and it's it's really nice and it's located across the street from midway rv park yeah. so as you're coming in to the park look to your left um, and you'll see them right across this. It used to actually be their child care center, so that's why there's so much actual land available for the dog park. They just left the fences up and um, 
and turn it into a yeah. dog park instead yeah. of the playground for the kids. Yep. All right, you want to talk about the base amenities? Sure. Oh, I left one thing off. There is free Wi-Fi on the campground. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, um, base Wi-Fi is available to you. And it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad most yeah. of the time. Um, so the, the RV park itself is located right behind the commissary. Yeah, so very, you could walk. Yeah, very convenient to go pick up uh, groceries, um, you know, or last minute items. The exchange is, is literally five minutes down the road. Um, the gas station is five minutes the opposite way. Um, as you're either going out the south gate or coming in the south gate, the gas station and mini right. mart is right there. Um, they also have your standard fitness center, uh, movie theater, um, MWR facilities, most of the standard things you'd find on a regular yeah, base. Yeah. So if you have any questions um, about the RV park itself, their office is actually in the ITT office. Um, and you can, of course, pick up your tickets for any discounts for downtown Memphis if there's anywhere you're headed to, like um, Graceland. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like Graceland, if you decide to go there, we opted out because it was so crazy expensive. But a lot of people and, love it. So if that's what you want to do, get your tickets on base first. Yeah, and I'm sure Stacy will link our Memphis video. <laughs> yeah, um, that says this. why we opted not to go yeah. to Graceland. So other than Graceland, there are a ton of things you can do here in Memphis. One of our favorite ones is the, um, the National Rights Museum where... Um, Martin Luther King Jr. was killed. Mm -hmm. So that is an amazing museum. Everyone that comes through here, I think it's a must to go see. Yeah, if you go to Memphis and you don't go there, um, you'll need to come back because yeah. you definitely need to go yeah. there and check it out. And again, like we said, I'll link the video so you can check that out. And then, of course, there are things like the Peabody Hotel and um, what's the outdoor store? They have the biggest Bass Pro um, downtown Memphis. Yeah, it's it's it used to be an arena, and they yeah, took it it's over. It's the shape of a pyramid. Um, it's huge on the inside. Uh, you can walk around for hours in there. All right, that wraps it up for um, for Midway RV Park. And um, just as a note, people want me to remind you that if you don't have access to the military base, you won't have access to the RV park. Right. It is for retirees, active duty, and I think in some places, um, contractors might be eligible. But I don't know. You have to check your specific base. Um, so that's it from here. Um, if you're in Memphis, it is um, a nice RV park. I yeah. highly recommend it. Um, so check it out. Yeah, I've talked to quite a few people, and they didn't even know that it was there. Yeah. A few, few military RVers. They had no idea that it was even there. Yep. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and hit the bell. Yes. And we will see you on, on the, the road. road.